Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach how you can build one CRUD API using Next.js. So in this, we'll be using MongoDB and we'll be using MongoDB Atlas, a cloud database. But you can use MongoDB installed locally on your laptop also. We'll be building full fledged backend API. Without delay, let's get started. All right. So this is the project which we created in last video. If you haven't seen that video, you can go ahead and watch it. If you want to learn basics of Next.js, then that is the best video which you can watch. But in this video, I'm going to teach how you can connect it to MongoDB and uh, as well as uh, performing CRUD operation, basic CRUD operation, nothing much uh, big deal in it. So first of all, go to this Next.js documentation. You can go to docs.nestjs.com and uh, just like how I taught in last video, uh, you can install the CLI and uh, once you have installed it, you can uh, create new project. So I'll just open up the terminal in this particular thing and uh, I'll create a nest new and I'll call it as a heroes record I hope i spelled it properly record okay so this will create one basic nest.js application so when this nest application is being built uh, we'll go and uh, we'll go to mongodb.com and in mongodb.com you can create one freely database so i'll just click on sign in you can also click on this but i'll click on sign in once you have logged in you will be able to create a new project like this i'll just click on it and i'll just write nest projects and after that you it will ask you to assign yourself as owner just click on create project once that's done it will ask you to create one deployment i'll just click on it and it will ask which kind of database you want to create i'll just select m0 that is free we want it for free that's why we'll create free database so after that click on aws and select this particular city and for this cluster you can name anything i'll just name it as a nest ap cluster you can name anything pretty much there is no problem and you can leave tags empty and click on create and it's absolutely free so you don't have to pay anything so once that's done i'll just go ahead and click on database here and in this particular database it's telling me that it's being deployed once that's done we need to do few things here so that would be first we have to click on database access here and here i can just click on add new user and you can name this user anything you want i'll just type it as nest api user and after that i'll keep a simple password i'll just keep it as nest api password but you make sure you click on auto generate password and save that particular password somewhere okay i think we have to click on add built-in role and i'll just click on read write any database i'll just click on add and the new user will be created and as well as i need to click on this nest work access and in here i'll just click on add ip and just click on allow access from anywhere if you are releasing it in production then you might have to do this but at the moment we are just testing so you can just click on allow access from anywhere after that i'll just click on confirm don't worry if you are not able to understand what we are doing exactly at this particular moment just follow the step and i'll teach you when we'll be using this so once that's done, okay, I forgot to click on this particular thing. Uh, you can select NPM. So it will do its work. And uh, here, uh, if you go to database, uh, it created the database. So I'll just click on browse collection. Uh, and uh, it will be obviously empty because we haven't uh, built anything. So once we start building it, uh, it will fill up with the, all the data which we require. So now I'll just open up VS Code. Uh, and once this particular thing is open, I'll just drag the heroes record project in this particular thing. And I'll just make sure whether it's done. Okay, so this process has completed. So I'll just close it. Now we can directly see that this is being done. And we can go ahead and run this particular project. So running this project is very easy. You can directly click on terminal, new terminal and in here if you just type npm run start colon dev and if you save it it's going to run the server and obviously if you have seen last video we have downloaded one tool named postman if you haven't downloaded it already you can go ahead and download it so in this particular postman we'll be able to send api requests 
so we need to send all the kinds of api request at the moment that is get uh, put uh, post uh, and uh, maybe delete request so i'll just click on it uh, and uh, we'll just test this particular thing so i'll just click uh, local host uh, colon 3000 uh, and uh, it is going to display me hello world that means uh, the api is running and uh, we'll be able to do whatever we want to do here so i'll just stop this particular server at the moment uh, because we want to create uh, all the models and uh, required things uh, before that uh, i think uh, it's better if we delete this particular uh, files uh, because we are not going to do anything related to test in this particular uh, video so once that is done, I'll just uh, click on next CLI and here uh, I can type uh, uh, generate options uh, and in generate options, uh, we'll just click uh, specs uh, false and I have to put one comma also. So this is just one basic thing so that uh, those test files won't be getting generated. So once that is done, I'll just close this particular thing and here we can create one module. So we are going to create heroes module here. So next. Uh, create is it create or it's not create it's actually generate so g is fine next generate uh, module and we'll name this as heroes so it's going to create one module named heroes once that's done i'll just create a next g controller and we'll call it as heroes again then next g service and we'll also call it as heroes so three resource will just generate it at the moment so once this particular thing is done we'll go to heroes and we'll see this particular heroes module and we'll just see whether everything is set up properly so everything seems fine so i'll just create one simple function which is going to display the all the heroes but we need to get get request so I'll just click on it and you can see here that it imported get from nest.js commons. So in this particular thing, I'll just keep it empty because we are going to send request to heroes. So the name of the request will be get heroes and I'll just send heroes. So just for testing purpose, I'm doing it just to see whether heroes uh, route has been uh, initiated properly or not so it's giving me error here that is because the server itself is not running so i'll just uh, run the server by running this npm uh, run dev command and i'll just click on send and uh, it should work okay so it is working we can see heroes here that means it's working okay so now once that's done i'll just create one service file also and here also i'll just create a get heroes and this function is pretty much is going to return all the heroes from the database but at the moment i'll just put one message which says all heroes so i'll just save it and if i go to this particular controller i need to create one constructor and uh, here i can create something like a private uh, read only and uh, i can uh, write uh, the name of the service uh, that is heroes service and uh, it will be of the type uh, heroes service okay now i can directly use this particular uh, hero service here uh, by typing this dot hero service dot get heroes and uh, everything seems to be working fine because we can see message heroes i'll just click on here once uh, and i'll click on pretty so that uh, it looks in little bit better way i don't know there is some problem with the postman at the moment uh, but uh, hopefully when you are watching or like after a while it will get fixed uh, so until then i just click on this raw and again i'll click on pretty and it's going to make it look in little bit pretty way so now that's done we'll be creating some more resources here but before that i'll just create this particular service file so that you'll understand how actually you can code this particular thing so in this particular service file we need get all heroes that is get heroes and another is get single hero or we can even type it as a get hero 
so just understand that uh, there is heroes uh, and uh, this is just get hero so here uh, return a message uh, and this message will be single hero we can't run it at uh, but uh, i'm just creating the function here now i need to create function named create hero and uh, this is also going to return something like uh, create hero then uh, after that uh, we can create something like uh, edit hero and uh, this will be edit hero then last uh, delete hero so it is going to help us uh, delete heroes so i can type uh, delete hero then once that is done i can go to controller and i'll just copy this particular thing again and here it will be get hero and here also it will be get hero then after that we need at post this is for create hero so i'll just click on create hero and here i can just return this dot hero service dot create hero it's already suggesting me what type of function it needs but it's giving error saying like a post is not imported so that's not going to be a problem i'll just click on it and it is going to ask me to import it and it will get imported in this particular file so once that's done we can go ahead and i'll just copy paste this particular thing again two times and another request will be put request and it will be edit hero and it's going to be getting from uh, edit hero so put also needs to be imported uh, just like how i imported uh, get and post uh, and uh, last uh, i need uh, delete hero so delete also will get imported uh, here uh, and this will be delete hero and uh, here delete hero so now i have created just one basic uh, controller and uh, service for uh, cred functionality uh, we need to add uh, here post with the data and id and all that we'll do little bit later but at the moment uh, we'll just focus on getting all the heroes or maybe it's not good idea to get all the heroes because we don't have heroes at all so it's better if we focus on uh, create hero so how do we create hero we need to get uh, connected to database first we have created one database here but we are yet to connect in order to connect we'll be using mongos so we need to install this particular thing and uh, if i remember the command correctly i'll just click on uh, npm i and package we require is uh, at uh, nest slash uh, mongos and uh, i think it is only two o's uh, and uh, mongos so if you type this much it will install mongos from nest and just mongos from mongos package so it is going to give some error obviously because i have directly wrote it from my memory so if you don't remember something you can directly go to google and search mongos nest and the moment i do that it's going to give me mongodb and here it will give the correct command it should be nest.js slash mongos so i'll just type here meaning i'll just copy it here and i'll just type npm i it was actually at nest js i just wrote nest i think here so that's fine errors keep on happening that's why i'm i told you how you can search this kind of things directly and find it from the documentation because nobody remembers everything but uh, smart people just search on uh, google uh, and they'll get answer right away so that has been installed uh, so once it's done uh, we can go to app controller not exactly app controller app module uh, and in this particular place uh, we can import uh, uh, and i would like to import it first uh, before this particular heroes module uh, just make sure it's inside uh, imports array and here i'll just type uh, mongoose uh, module uh, it will import it from nest uh, js slash mongoose uh, the package which we installed just now and here we'll just type uh, for uh, root uh, and inside this particular thing uh, we need to put uh, mongoose uri so from where we'll get uh, this particular mongo uri 
it's very easy to get uh, you just have to go to this particular place uh, and uh, in overview only if i just click on uh, connect uh, it's going to ask uh, from where you want to connect uh, i'll just click on drivers uh, and in this particular place uh, it will give me entire command itself so i'll just copy this particular thing uh, and uh, i'll paste it inside uh, here so here it is going to ask me the password i have kept one simple password so i'll just click write it next api dash password you put whatever the password which you want to put there so once that is done in the end we want to name this particular database so this is heroes record database so i'll just type record db and i'll just save it now we can run this particular project and hopefully it is not going to give us any error if some error comes we'll be configuring it so there were no errors found here and if you see here properly the mongoose module dependencies initialized so that means the hopefully this particular connection is working if it's not connecting we'll check it out but i'll click on collections here and here we'll get all the details once we start to work on this particular heroes model and all so i'll just create one new folder here and i'll just name it as schemas and inside this particular schema i can create hero dot schema dot ts so in this particular place we'll just start to write this particular mongo schema if you want you can refer this particular documentation where it is going to help you create the schema but i'll just create it by myself so i'll just type schema it will import it from schema and here we can write whatever we want to put here i'll keep it empty at the moment we'll just create one export default class and we'll name it as a hero and inside this particular thing we'll be writing all the hero related details so if you remember from last project we need a hero name and a real name as well as whether they are avengers or not it's really basic to do that so here i'll just click on prop and it will also import it from this particular nest js so here i'll just type name and that would be string after that another prop i require is a prop that would be real name that also would be string only and last one i require is a prop that would be is avenger and this particular thing is a boolean so this boolean means it will just take a true or false anyways once that's done here we can export it and if you want to see actual code you can see it here export const hero schema is equal to and schema factory dot create for class cat and here schema factory dot create for class and the class is this particular hero class so once that is done the model has been created and you might think like so much code i have to write but actually if you think about it all this import automatically came and all this class you can directly copy paste and just change this particular hero and here hero schema and here hero and all this inside thing it depends upon what kind of resource you are building so there is not much code involved here when i am writing it from empty scratch file you might feel like okay so much code is involved here but it's actually not so once that is done i can go to heroes module and inside this particular thing i can import this particular model that can be done by mongoose module dot for feature and feature that we would require is array and inside this particular thing we can create one small object and this particular thing involve name and name would be hero dot name and this particular hero should come from hero schema dot name and schema would be hero schema so that's what we created a while back here we require one comma 
and uh, that should uh, be enough uh, and uh, hopefully now if i go here and if i refresh it uh, it should create something uh, if it's not created then uh, we'll see okay yes absolutely fine so it created heroes record db and inside this uh, it created one heroes so that means uh, this particular thing is working uh, and uh, if you are not seeing it uh, that means you might have done some mistake inside hero model uh, or in uh, app dot module uh, here you have done some mistake uh. so here just make sure uh, you have put your username uh, and uh, password properly and also after this net slash uh, you write uh, whatever the project name you want to create uh, and uh, it's actually name for the database uh, which is mentioned here so once that's done uh, now we can go ahead uh, and uh, go to this particular uh, hero service uh, and inside this particular service uh, we can uh, get access to the model uh, getting access to the model is very easy we'll just create one constructor uh, and here uh, i'll just add uh, inject uh, model uh, and inside this particular thing uh, we need to write the model name uh, and uh, we can get the model name easily by typing uh, hero dot uh, name uh, and this particular thing uh, private uh, hero model uh, and this particular thing will be certain type uh, we can put it uh, it's better if you put it uh, mongoose uh, dot model uh, and this will be of type uh, hero so if we write this particular thing uh, and uh, if we write this much thing uh, we'll get access to this particular hero model uh, and uh, don't think uh, as i said earlier uh, saying like this is very long line uh, how can i write it uh, you don't need to buy heart it uh, once you wrote it uh, from here uh, that's the screen which you are watching uh, next in all the project uh, you can directly copy paste uh, and here you can change uh, wherever hero is written you can write exactly what you want to whatever the name of the model which you will be using so once that is done now we can directly get started with the using the model uh, in order to get this particular create hero we actually need the hero details so how do we get this particular hero details we can get it easily from the body of uh, the controller so here we can uh, just type at uh, body and it will also get imported uh, and for the name of the body i'll just uh, type uh, hero and we can uh, give same name here also so once that hero is typed here uh, we can write it inside this particular thing uh, now we'll get access to that particular thing uh, inside uh, hero details uh, so i'll just log it here uh, just for uh, understanding whether it's actually being printed or not so from the postman now if i send a post request with the some data so i'll just click on raw here and it will be automatically selected to json if not you can select json and here i'll just type name and name will be iron man real name that would be tony stark and is avenger that is absolutely true but i have to put it in the quotation so i'll just send it now it's just going to send us a reply saying create hero if you see here it's coming as undefined that will fix it and if we go here and inside the body we don't need hero we'll just keep it empty now if we see in the hero service everything seems fine so i'll just send it again so now if you see here name real name and is avenger everything is printed properly as per our requirement so once that is done we can create the actual hero that is very easy to do actually in the mongos if i just type const hero is equal to await hero model dot create and inside this particular create if i just put hero detail and send this particular 
hero that should make everything fine but i have to create this as a async function uh, because i have used here a wait so if i just type this much uh, and if i go here and send it uh, it actually sent uh, some more new details uh, that includes this particular id that is being generated from the database uh, and if i just refresh here uh, now you can see there is one data already present in the database so i'll just create another data quickly and i'll just create batman this time and here i'll just put a banner and is avenger false you can see two details has been created so that is fine now we can create hero so now another thing which we want to do is get all the heroes how do we do that it's also as easy as how we created this particular hero that would be just a const heroes is equal to await this dot hero model dot find and if i just write this particular thing it's going to fetch all the heroes and here i'll just type heroes and save it and as always if it's giving you error on await that means you have to put async here i'll save it and uh, i'll just go to this particular thing uh, and uh, it's always better if you just click on this particular thing uh, and save the new request uh, i'll just create one new collection uh, for uh, heroes record uh, and save it uh, and inside this particular thing uh, there is this request uh, and we can rename it easily by right clicking uh, rename uh, and i'll just click on create uh, hero so that is done next in order to display all the heroes i'll just copy this particular thing and i'll paste it here and it's a get request to heroes and if i send it it's going to display two heroes because only two heroes we have in the database at the moment then another thing which we can do is get single hero so in order to get the single hero we can go to controller and this particular create is done this particular get heroes is done now we need to do get hero and inside this particular thing i can just put a colon id and when i put that here i have to put at the param it will import from nest common and here i can put a id and i can put again id so don't get confused this is the decorator and this is the variable which will be written with this particular param and this is the actual id which we will be getting from the postman so here i'll just send this particular id so that we can actually get single hero from the id so in order to do that i'll just get hero here and this will take id and we'll just create a const hero is equal to await this dot hero model dot find by id and inside this particular thing i'll just pass this particular id and i have to put async here because it's await function and i'll just remove the message and i'll just display hero so we'll just save this particular thing also and we can save it as all heroes and uh, next we can display only one single hero and i have to get hero id i'll just uh, take uh, this particular id and uh, i'll put it in here uh, and i'll send the request now i'll get uh, this particular single hero only i'll save this particular thing also and i'll name it as a get a single hero so two get request and one post request we have created next what we can do is create is also done edit hero in order to edit hero we need this particular id because we are editing specific user using id as well as we need the body which hero is supposed to have so that we can edit some details inside the hero so here we can just write at param 
and this particular param is going to have id and uh, that will be just id and another thing is at the body and this body will be empty and uh, i'll just put hero so that uh, we'll be able to send the hero so i'll just put id and hero here so it's going to give error because in service uh, there is no id and uh, hero i'll just put id and hero so in order to edit this particular hero we can just type a const edited hero is equal to await this dot hero model dot find by id and update and here we can type id and another parameter is hero so once that is done i have to create one new this thing here i'll just type new true so that uh, when this particular hero is edited uh, we'll get edited information not the previous information so once that is done uh, i'll just put a sync here uh, and save it uh, and here uh, if i just uh, go and uh, copy this particular thing uh, and uh, open up new tab uh, and paste it here uh, but i'll be sending a uh, put request uh, and body should contain uh, the object which we have created here uh, that includes entire this thing and i'll just change this particular thing to bruce because we don't need banner and i'll just save this particular thing also but i just pressed ctrl s if you're wondering and here i can type edit hero and i'll send this particular request so it's showing edit hero why is it showing edit hero okay i didn't return this particular edited hero i'll just put it here and if i send the request again it gives me just bruce because i had removed that particular thing so if you go and click here and if you send all the hero request here it's just written bruce and in the single hero also it's just written as a bruce now I'll just put uh, Bruce uh, banner back uh, so that you will be able to understand that it's actually changing. Uh, so here also it's changed. Now last but not the least uh, we need to delete the hero. So doing that also is very easy. I'll just go here uh, and uh, we need ID for it. Uh, and uh, once we get the ID there uh, we can put uh, at uh, param not processing param and it will be id and uh, id now delete hero also will take id and in this particular service also we require id and uh, deleting it's very easy const hero is equal to await this dot hero model dot find by id you can see all the available options here find by id and delete is what i require at the moment so i will put id id itself is enough because we don't need to put anything else so once that is done i will send the hero which has been deleted so it is going to give the error for a wait so i'll just put a sync and i'll save it and uh, hopefully the error is not there or okay there is one error here that is because probably there is no error we'll just uh, see it i'll copy this particular thing no i think i'll create one new hero test hero and i'll just name it as a test banner and I'll send the request. And if I just go here and see all the heroes, it should display this particular test hero also. And I'll just create a new request only. And I'll just type a localhost heroes slash id. Not the get request. We need to send delete request. Before you send this particular request, just make sure that you have saved this particular file and uh, now i'll just click on send uh, and it's going to give me this particular hero and uh, now if i go here uh, and uh, click on all hero 
it's not showing that particular test hero and uh, i'll just save this particular file also and i'll just name it as a uh, delete hero so that's it for this video guys i think uh, we have created one uh, fully functional cred application uh, which uses mongodb and it has hero schema as well as uh, all the service and uh, controller that is required uh, there are some features which we could have added to this particular application uh, where uh, we could have validated whether uh, hero name has been sent or not uh, that we'll do it in upcoming videos uh, but uh, at the moment uh, you can create heroes uh, and uh, you can get and uh, display all the heroes and uh, do a simple current operation with data so that would be it for this video guys and uh, if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for watching more videos like this if you want to learn more about nest.js just uh, put it in the comment box what do you want to learn and uh, i'm planning to make more videos on this so that's it for this video guys and uh, see you in the next video Bye bye